Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Lapidus pour homme by Ted Lapidus. So I got that nice little bottle over here. And on top there is the logo of Ted Lapidus. Here, sometimes people ask me where it was made. This one was made in France. It's written in big in the bottom of the bottle, though it's in the same color, so it may be hard to see for the box. For some reason, the presentation remind me a lot of uh, fragrance from uh, Jacques Bogart. I think one of the reasons is that little thing that they put here that is kind of shiny. So let's try to smell. This fragrance is a super complex fragrance, and it's been a long time I analyzed something so complex tons of notes. Somehow it reminds me a little bit this type of smell of Kennel or Stetson. I would say it's a bit softer, less harsh than those two scents. I enjoy it way more than those two scents. So I'm picking up some musk, picking up some incense, picking up some basil, a little bit of juniper berry, barely some artemisia, picking up some pine, picking up some caraway, a little bit of tobacco. Not sure if I said it, but patchouli. That's about it. In the top notes, I was picking up a lot of musk, good amount of patchouli, good amount of lavender, and good amount of Brazilian rosewood. Also a good amount of basil, a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of artemisia, a little bit of oak moss, and a little bit of pine tree. In the heart notes, I was picking up good amount of incense, good amount of patchouli, good amount of musk, a little bit of oak moss, a little bit of cedar, also a good amount of Brazilian rosewood. Or just rosewood. I don't really know the difference between Brazilian rosewood and other rosewood. And in the base note, I was picking up a lot of patchouli, good amount of oak moss, good amount of musk, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of tonka bean, a little bit of cedar. Projection is average, a little bubble around me. We're able to pick it up and longevity was amazing over 12 hours. And for the complete note breakdown, it's really long. So top notes are Pineapple, lavender, artemisia, juniper berry, lemon, basil, and bergamot. Heart notes are honey, incense, pine tree, rose, Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, aris root, lily of the valley, and petit gain. And the base notes are tobacco, patchouli, oak moss, musk, amber, sandalwood, tonka bean, and cedar. Now, where would see this fragrance? Nowadays, I would say it's a great business fragrance, though at the time I would have said at that era where it was released, I would say it was probably more of a dating fragrance, but now this business fragrance will work well. I think as a dating fragrance, it could still work. If you're into old school fragrance, that could be a good fragrance for you. But if you're a younger guy, you want some clubbing fragrance, something sweet, that's not it. It's really an old school fragrance. If you're not into that, you won't like it. And if you're young, it might not be super good as a dating fragrance. In the summer winter spectrum, I think it will be in between. Projection is a little bubble around you, so in summer it might be a bit intense. Though I always put like five sprays, so I could probably put less in summer. It would work. In winter, I mean, there's nothing you can do if you soak yourself in fragrance. Uh, it's not such a good way to deal with that, but I don't think it will be cutting through the cold really easily, so I don't think it will be a good winter fragrance. As an everyday fragrance, I think the smell is really nice. I wouldn't say mass appealing, it's old school, but it's not something that would be like some other old school that would be challenging for other people around you or too intense. It will be something really nice, really soft, that people will enjoy anyway. So if you're into old school, that could be a really great everyday fragrance. It smells amazing. It's cheap, pretty much all you're looking for. It lies a whole day. And I have a good enough projection. I mean, it's people won't like smell you for miles, but if you're there close from you, you should smell it. And the end, I was really surprised. A lot of people were telling me this fragrance was good. I decided to get it, and definitely, it's amazing. It will take the place that Kennel is having right now because it's way better. You know, it's a really nice, subtle, not subtle, but like a casual, old school fragrance. That's really, really a good one. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share.
if you have a really nice casual old school fragrance might it be this one or another one tell me what is your favorite old school fragrance to just wear casually in a relaxed day or as an everyday fragrance so thanks for watching and see you soon Thank you.